Merry Christmas and let's come to the paper 4 which is the advanced financial management just a Christmas gift for you it's my personal mnemonics for the uh, foreign investment appraisal so the mnemonic I'm going to give you when tackling the foreign investment appraisal is OTO TTSO and EODP so what are they then? So first of all, do you like overtime premium? If I were you, I hate the OT, it's the overtime premium. So you say, okay, OT, oh my God. Okay, so that's what I mean by OTO, it's the first three uh, letters. Okay, as you can see, it's the OTO. And then secondly, it's the TT so. So TT, so, which means in Cantonese, we often say tai tai so, which means in English is shave your face. That's what I mean by TT so. Okay, so OTO, and then TT so, and then E, uh, it's not very good, uh, that's what I mean by E, and then O, it first of all, uh, and then O, yes. And then finally, it just to be a discount factor and the present value, which is the DP. No meaning for that, so which means the mnemonics is OT. Right, let me start it again. OT, oh my god. TT, so. And then, uh, which means E. O. And then DP. So let's lock that in then. So that means, as you can say, the OTO stands for, first of all, you need to see the operating cash. That means we're going to calculate the cash in as well as the cash out, so we're going to let them off. Remember, when we are appraising a project related to the foreign investments, what we have to do then is we're going to bring the foreign currency into the investment appraisal. So that means, for example, if you set up a subsidiary in the USA, but you are in the UK, of course you would like to see how much profit that, 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 that does that investment will bring to you in the form, uh, I mean, in uh, the US dollars, right? So that's the reason why when appraising a project overseas, what we have to do then is we're going to include the foreign currencies into the investment appraisal process. First of all, we like to see how much operating cash that we bring into the company. And secondly, what we have to do then is T stands for tax allowable depreciation. So that means, for example, if you build up a factory in the USA, and the government in the USA may say to you, okay, you don't have to pay tax on that particular amount, for example, because I'm going to give you some of the tax benefit. So we're going to consider that tax allowable depreciation in the second phase. And then you also need to consider other cash flows as well. So that's what we mean by, uh, by O for the third character. So that means within a group in particular, we often encourage the companies within the group to work with each other. So for example, okay, I acquire your company. So I'm going to do some sort of transfer pricing, that kind of stuff. And also, for example, I require you as a subsidiary to pay for me, let's say, the royalty, because you're using my brand name of the parent's company. You have to pay for me that amount. So, yes, so those cash flows need to be considered as well. So after we consider into those, we net them off at the net cash flows is the foreign currency and then we consider the tax paid over here so the reason why we're going to include the tax allowable depreciation in the second line is simply because we're going to use that use those information by subtracting a tax allowable depreciation from the operating cash and we calculate the total amount of uh, tax we're going to pay for to a tax authority in the USA and then we have to bring back the tax allowable depreciation because that is the money that we save on tax. It's the real cash flow to the company. So that's the reason why we're going to plot that again.
okay, after we calculate the total taxes that we pay for. And then we are going to consider, I mean, so, which means the scrap value, and also the initial investments that we put uh, in the project. And then we also need to consider the other cash flows as well. So, for example, the working capitals that we buy, the inventory, receivable, that kind of stuff. And then we net them off. Okay, we net them off again in foreign currency. And then we're going to exchange that US dollars because we are based in UK. For example, we buy the Christmas gift in UK pound, not in US dollars. So what we have to do is we're going to exchange those US dollars into the UK pound, which means to our home currency using that exchange rate. And in the exam, in the paper four, you're required to use the purchasing power parity theory to predict that exchange rate. So normally in the international investment appraisal, you have to use that theory rather than the interest rate parity theory because it's for short term. So the purchasing power parity theory, or you can call it the PPPT, will be used if you were to uh, estimate your uh, future exchange rate for more than one year. And then, okay, so we're going to consider, I mean, we've considered E already, and now it's the O, for example, additional tax that you're going to pay for, particularly if your country has signed the double tax agreement with another country. So if you have a subsidiary, for example, operating in the USA, you pay tax in the USA, let's say 20%, but you have to pay tax in the UK for 30%. So that means if you bring the profit back from the USA into your UK, if you have 20% of tax rates that you pay for the tax authority originally, that would not be fair for your UK's competitors locally because they have to pay tax at 30%. So that's the reason why according to the double tax agree agreement, you also need to pay additional 10% of taxes in order to be fairly competing with your competitors back in the UK. And then you discount those cash flows because you net them off, you discount that, and then it will give you the present value. So net here would be the home currency, just to correct it here, okay? Okay, so on to your next page onwards, there will be the very, very good question to apply the mnemonic called OTO, TTSO and EODP. Uh, in that particular question with answers as well, with my own solutions for that. And you can do that question on your own. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to email me and I'm here to help. So Merry Christmas again and good luck with your paper for exam. APC, accounting for your future.